build the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. Grandpa and my sister Jemima to our favourite place, our beach hut on the beach. Jason! We'd only been here for a few minutes when who should we see coming round the corner? Whoops! Mr. Whoops. <gasps> Mr. Whoops is called Mr. Whoops because he's always having little accidents. <laughs> he falls over things. Whoops! Whoops. He falls off things. Whoops! He even trips over his own feet. Whoops! <laughs> well, if it isn't Mr. Whoops. Hello, Mr. Whoops. What have you got there then? I'm doing my bit for Sunny Sands, picking up the litter, making the beach all squeaky clean. Oh look, there's another bit. Whoops! Oh, oh, oh dear! I think I've twinged something in my bag. Sit, sit, sit yourself down, Mr. Woods. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you. You too. I can't believe I was so clumsy. Aren't you? What you need, Mr. Whoops, is some kind of machine to help you pick up all this litter. Then you wouldn't have to bend your back. Oh, yes. Grandpa was right. What Mr. Whoops needed was the perfect little litter picker. Dad offered to take Mr. Whoops back to his toy shop in Campo. That's very kind. So long as it isn't any trouble. I don't want to be any trouble. Just then, who should turn up? Mr. Mentor, the inventor. The bottom of the afternoon to you all. Oh, the wow. very person to invent a litter picker for Mr. Whoops. A litter picker? Tell me more. Now, Mr. Mentor, the inventor, lives in the lighthouse in Sunny Sands. He's always coming up with really crazy inventions. Like this. The grassy bubble jumper. Only the bugs liked it even more than he did. Then there's this. The automatic hairostatic that gives you a new hairstyle every day. And this. The huffer puffer pillow fluffer. Everyone loves going to visit him in the lighthouse and trying things out. And he likes trying out other people's inventions, too. I'd love to invent a litter picker for Mr. Whoops. It's a fabridiculous idea. <laughs> Mr. Mentor doesn't just invent things. He invents words as well. Let's go to my lighthouse and see what we can do, eh? Oh, poor Grandpa. You have to stay here because you can't manage the lighthouse stairs. Oh, I'll just have a little lie down in the beach hut. OK. Come on, Mr. Mentor. I knew Grandpa had no intention of having a little lie down. As soon as the others turned their backs, out came his shrinking cap. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! Now, you know when Grandpa shrinks, he can make my toys go. He can get into my car and drive it about. He can fly off in my plane. He can chuff around in our Sunny Sands train. And he can even make Gordon, my toy seagull, fly. Or he can just run so fast that I can't keep up with him. And this time, he'd done just that. I had no idea where he'd got to. Psst! Jason! See you later. At the lighthouse, Mr Mentor was turning out box after box of stuff to see what he could find to make a litter picker. Grandpa would surely be on his way, and I guessed how. I needed to distract Jemima and Mr Mentor. Mr Mentor, how about looking on that shelf over there? Okie dokie. I managed to do that just in time, and in flew Grandpa. Oh, 
Well, I don't know. Perhaps there's something brilloso in here. Let's have a look. While they carried on looking, Grandpa started to have fun. He climbed up onto a shelf and ran along it. Jumped, slid down and made a dingy thing ping. What's that? <gasps> it's my ping a ding a dong It's never worked before. Now it's pinging and dinging and donging. It's amazing! What's it for? No idea, but it's working. Just then, Grandpa made a whirly thing whirl. Goodness, my whirly wheely whizzer is whirling and wheeling and whizzing. Could it pick up litter, do you think? Oh, no, it's not a litter picker. It's a whirly wheely whizzer. Quite different, my dear. Grandpa then popped a horn, and it set a whole lot of other horns popping. Oh, it's a miracle. My poppy tootle toot is popping and tootling. No idea, but it just goes to show you never know when an invention is going to start working or why. And just then, I saw Grandpa jumping into something. I've just had a spectacular idea. We can use this for the litter picker. Oh, I think we can do better than that, Mr Mentor. Jason, Mr Mentor knows what he's doing. But, 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 but there's no way to plug it in on the beach. You're quite right, Jason. Let's look over here. Grandpa got out of the grass box and ran across the floor. Next thing I knew, he was standing next to a peculiar-looking bird and pointing at it. We can use that bird. What is it? I'm a little litter picker. I'm a little litter picker. It can pick up litter in its beak. Brilliant. Hang on. It just spoke. Probably. Things seem to have a life of their own in here today. Oh, I think it'll be wonder bubble. It needs a bit of work on the inside and a bit of work on the outside. Knobs, levers and strings. But then, it'll be the perfect little litter picker. So after a bit of work on the inside and a bit of work on the outside, Mr Mentor had this. It had knobs and levers and strings, and Mr Mentor walked around showing us how it worked. You just pulled a lever, and its head went down, and it pecked up the litter. How Wonderbubble is that, eh? Spectacularly Wonderbubble. Fabidiculous. Absolutely Fabidiculous. <laughs> Let's ring Mr Whoops. So I dialed Mr Whoops's number to tell him to come straight away. And very soon, he arrived. Whoops! Whoops! <laughs> Let me present you with the perfect little litter picker, Mr Whoops. Ooh, I love it. I love it. And Mr Whoops started to try out the litter picker. But you know what yeah. Mr Whoops is like. Whoops! Oh, <laughs> I got what happened there. Are you okay? Yeah, thank you. You see, my mum and my mum and my dad. I just keep on tripping. It stopped working. I think something snapped inside. Oh, no. I've broken it. How could I be so clumsy? I'm sure it wasn't you, Mr. Wood. <laughs> I'm so it's sorry, Mr. Right. Mentor. Really it's one of your masterpieces. Grandpa had a plan. He jumped inside the litter picker and tried to find out what had broken. Oh, oh Jason was right. The string that makes his mouth work has snapped. Well, I can fix that in the blink of an eye. I think it's mended. Mended? You clever boy. Let me see, Jason. I didn't really want to hand the bird back to Mr Whoops because Grandpa was still inside. Hand it over, Jason. Yes, go on. I want to see it working again. I'll be very careful this time. To start with, Mr Whoops was very careful. Jemima put down bits of litter for the bird to pick up. And the bird said, I'm the perfect little litter picker. I'm the perfect little litter picker. <laughs> it's amazing. I can't believe it talks. I don't remember inventing the talking bit, but there are so many things I don't remember inventing because I invent all the time, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a lovely litter picker, eh? I am. I am. I'm a lovely little picker. <laughs> Do you want to go, Jemima? Whoop! Now, as you know, when Grandpa gets into things, 
he can make them go. So now he was making the litter picker fly. And he flew right out of the lighthouse window. This time, Grandpa had gone too far. It's incredible, Mr Menta. It talks and it flies. I don't remember inventing the flying bit either. It's heading for the beach. Let's go. The litter picker landed at the beach hut and Grandpa jumped out. As we arrived, I just caught sight of him running towards the beach hut. So, as the others ran to the bird, I ran to Grandpa. He was trying to find somewhere out of sight of the others so that he could take his cap off. <laughs> cap off, Grandpa, quick! Oh, Jason, Mr Whoop's got his little picker and it's all down to us. Yes, Grandpa, I'd call that teamwork. Teamwork? You should have seen it, Grandpa. It was Later, Jemima couldn't stop talking about it. It was just amazing. Mr Whoops was certainly very pleased. And it flew. Can you believe it flew, Grandpa? Yes, I can. Mr Minto is an excellent inventor. And it talked. It said... I'm the perfect little litter picker. Yes. Grandpa, how did you know? Oh, I've known a lot of little litter pickers in my time, and they all sound the same. Oh, Grandpa. Oh, 